Alrighty, let's get right into this video. We're going to be talking about mouse and keyboard settings on PS5. I know a couple of people have been asking me. I've posted a few Vanguard videos in the past few weeks since release. Has it been a few weeks already? It's been like two weeks, right? Well, I said I was going to get around to it, and I guess today's the day. I know this is not for everybody, but for those of you that are wondering what settings I use, I'm going to go a little bit in detail, not too deep into it, but... Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using, what sensitivity, and all of the in-game settings as well as my peripherals. So I'm holding my keyboard right here in my hand. This is the Ducky 1-2 Mini. I say this in every video since I've been posting uh, mouse and keyboard console videos, but Ducky 1-2 Mini, it is a 60% keyboard. It does have red switches underneath the caps, so if that means anything to you, uh, there's that. I do like red switches, I've tried blues, I love how blues sound, but I love how sensitive the red switches are because you don't really have to put too much pressure for the, actua the actuation point to, well, activate. And this is a wired keyboard, I do plug in my keyboard directly into my PlayStation. I have a USB port or cable that goes from the front to the keyboard and then the mouse is plugged into the back. So that's that for the keyboard. For the mouse, I am using the Ninja Air 58. It is a final mouse. And for those of you that ask me where you can get it, you can't really get it if you don't know what final mouse is. Uh, well, it's kind of like a one-time drop for each of their mice. And we're currently at their wireless mouse and I have not been able to get one, I've tried, but have not been able to do that. For the PC, for my PC, I've been using the final mouse Ultralight 2. I love this mouse very dearly and I really don't need the wireless one. I would just like one just to, you know, for video coverage and to sort of have one that is just like this one plugged into my PC while I can use the other one on the console. Kind of like how I'm doing now with the Air 58 except I'll have a wireless one. Yeah, but those are both very lightweight mice and just in general the company makes very good lightweight mice. So, there's that. You can look into I'll put the links in the description for the mouse, for the website, even though you can't buy it. But the keyboard you can still get. The mouse, you're going to have to do some digging. Some scalpers are probably going to rip you off. But you can find one on eBay if you really want one. There are other great alternatives. Don't think that you need my setup to be good at the game. I am in no... I like, like I say in every other video, I'm not great at video games. And I do like having good peripherals, comfortable ones. And I really like these, but you're not forced to, or I'm not encouraging everyone to go and get this because you don't really need this. All right. Uh, before I go any deeper into the games side of things, or like the in-game settings, we're going to go to settings over here. Let's give you everything you need to kind of know what's going on here. I know a lot of you have questions about input lag and all of that. I've covered some of those things in the past, and the reason I've been posting more gameplay without commentary or anything is because I want people to know that you can play and have good games and have as much enjoyment on mouse and keyboard as you might have on a PC. I play on PC all the time. Mouse and keyboard on console is comfortable. I can get used to it. I can enjoy it, especially at 120 FPS. And it's not really like a bad experience. So if we go here, uh, sorry, let me backtrack. Uh, kind of rambling here, settings accessories and then here we have our keyboard settings this is pretty important if you care about like how quickly the inputs are like that sort of nitty-gritty stuff so the key repeat here I have it set to short and for me this is you know inputs are great I haven't really felt any input lag at all really Unless I'm playing at 60 FPS and my sensitivity is off in game, then I really tell the difference. But I'll get into sensitivity in a little bit. Okay, so my key repeat is uh, set to short. Key repeat rate is set to fast. Now this, yeah, this just if you're gonna mess with this, make sure you're going back and forth between the game and the settings to see what you're feeling that the difference is because. Uh, I know when I did that in the past, this is what led me to choose these settings where it felt like my inputs were good and pressing keys rapidly wasn't, didn't feel strange basically. So for mouse settings, there's not much going on here, but it is pretty important. Uh, right-handed 
and this is the important one pointer speed you have three options slow normal and fast and no matter what game you're playing this will have a direct effect to your sensitivity in your game so it's like kind of like an overall sensitivity for every game uh, without tweaking the in-game ones so if you're on slow you're gonna have a default kind of slow sense when you go into the game if you're on fast it's gonna be faster than normal minus that to normal because that way it's kind of default and you can play around with the sensitivity in game now that we saw that we can go to Vanguard multiplayer I do like navigating the menus and things with the controller because I have a 60% keyboard, you have to press a function key and WASD or function key and IJKL to really navigate. So just pick up the controller, navigate like that, and then when you're ready to play, you can use a uh, mouse and keyboard. In the game here, uh, I do have my cursor here. I've mentioned this before, I love games that give you cursor speed options in the game, like this one. Uh, where is it? Mouse menu sensitivity. Now, mouse sensitivity here, if you've been watching or if you've seen any of my mouse and keyboard gameplay videos, I, I know I did one where it shows my POV. This is the exact same as that POV video, if that means anything to you. And remember that you don't have to copy someone else's settings to feel comfortable. Try things out, change things, tweak them, whatever you're comfortable with, go with that because that's ultimately going to be the best for you. And for me, it's different because of my peripherals and the settings and the screen that I'm playing on. Everyone's going to have different in, like different um, things to keep in mind uh, when it comes to all of those. Your mouse pad, your uh, mouse, keyboard, everything's different on every setup. So it's important that you mess around with your settings and your peripherals to see what works the best for you. I didn't mention the mouse pad, but I am using the FaZe Clan uh, collaboration with... Takashi Murakami so there's that if you want to see what it looks like I can't turn this camera down here but if you go to my POV video or if you've seen it that's the mouse pad that I'm using all right here in mouse sensitivity it is set to 10 you can do show more and you get a little bit more customization vertical sense ground vehicles and things like that um, <clears throat> excuse me if you're playing on mouse and keyboard you got to make sure you switch this to mouse so that when you're in the game, it actually works. ADS, like truly, I'm pretty sure most of these are default. I don't know if mouse moving on was on or off by default, but mine is off. And everything else has been kind of left alone besides the menu, because if I just leave this like this, then I can go based on my DPI. And this mouse has four DPIs and you can switch between it in the middle, the beginning one, I'm on 700, I believe, or 800. I think it's 800. So it goes 400, 800, 1200, then 1600. And right now it's 800. If you go faster than that, it says a 1200 one or whatever the higher one is. But basically, there's four settings. It goes slow, normal, fast, super fast. And I play on the second one, this being the slowest, 400, and then I play on 800. So 800 DPI on my mouse, 10 sensitivity in game. And my mouse speed on the PlayStation is set to normal. Those three settings are the uh, main three that you want to worry about. And then the results are in my gameplay. Like, it feels good for me, and I play pretty decently. I could tweak it a little bit more, considering I haven't messed with it too much here. I could probably find another sweet spot here with the in game sense that I haven't touched. But for me, that feels pretty good depending on how heavy your mouse is or like your mouse pad and the friction and all that stuff you might want to tweak this a little bit more but that is my settings i'm gonna leave this here i'll scroll down so you can see that one time pause do whatever you want and yeah that's pretty much that keybinds everyone has different keybinds and feels comfortable with different keybinds my scroll wheel doesn't work on this mouse which is the reason i've been using it for playstation because my, I get more use out of my scroll wheel on the PC, so I use my other mouse that the scroll wheel is working on PC. Uh, but I don't really need it for Call of Duty. I've been I switch my weapons with the side button, and I use my I believe tactical um, ability, or is that what it's called? Your field upgrade. I use with the other one. And here's that. 
I changed my grenades probably, some certain stuff. Um, but yeah, there's keybinds aren't really like a specific thing that you need to copy me or feel like mine is superior to anyone else's. Everyone has their own sort of preference for keybinds. So mess with those as well. But I'm pretty sure most of you were concerned about the um, sensitivity. We covered that and we covered the uh, settings for the keyboard and mouse in the PlayStation itself. So have those covered. Now the screen, another important thing is that I am playing on um, 120 hertz refresh rate. This will also be important for when you are, you know, playing. It's going to feel a lot more accurate and more smooth if you're playing on 120 hertz. If you're playing on 60 FPS, it's playable, but you're going to feel kind of, I don't want to say delay, but it's just not as smooth. That's the best way to put it. And it's not, it's not something you absolutely need to worry about, but just keep in mind that 120 hertz does make a difference and if you have the potential screen or if you have a screen that can output 120 hertz definitely take advantage of it and make sure that it's on because you're gonna have a much better experience with that on i play at 120 um fov i'm used to my pc games being completely zoomed out and you can see a lot more with that i really enjoy the speed of everything when you're playing at 120 this goes down to 60. On 60, it's like super slow. Uh, with that said, so that's pretty much all the in-game and menu settings. You guys saw the numbers and everything. We're just going to jump in here really fast. This is not really an MP40 class, but... Uh, Alright, so this is 400. Here's mine. This is what mine is set to. And this might be a little bit faster for me right now because I've been playing a lot of Halo and I think my sensitivity in Halo is actually slower, so just bear with me here. I probably won't even play this full match. I just want you guys to like see those settings in action. Not that you haven't seen them before, and if you have, well, here's a little bit more. I didn't even know I didn't even know Shipman was out for cold uh what is this game called? Vanguard. <laughs> Been playing too many different games. It looks cool like this in its World War II form. I think. Like right now, I feel like. Let's see. Keyboard and mouse. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this live here. See what the impact of four. See, like you can sort of tweak it, but all of my pat all of my past videos have been ten sensitivity. You can definitely keep messing with that until you feel like you're at a sweet spot. Movement is very spot on. Everything just feels and looks great. Look at this guy. Perfect. Throw that over there. But, yeah. Feels really good. And... Those are pretty much my settings. I don't want to make this video too long, and I know I've already exhausted the gameplay stuff, especially with the Das House stuff. I probably won't be posting any more Das House games, or Das House, however you say it. Don't want too much of that on here, but I might do another POV for people, and if I tweak my settings, I'll show that in those future videos. But for now, I'm good off of doing the Das House sort of gameplay videos. I don't want my channel to be sort of compiled with a lot of those. I will post gameplays here and there, but I don't want that to be like all the time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helped some of you guys that were interested in really messing with your settings. If you didn't know what to go with, if you don't know what's normal, I don't know, I don't consider... I guess these are kind of normal settings. It's mostly default with a tad bit of dpi settings and the weight of the mouse has an impact on that as well but um that's i'm gonna go ahead and quit don't want to play that full game i will play a little bit of ship 
house 24 7 later because that does seem pretty fun but yeah lots of stuff going on here in the gaming space and it's just been a lot of fun lately halo battlefield call of duty anything just the channel in general i've been having fun making videos seeing people engage and interact with those videos and if anyone has suggestions for anything they want to see in any game that i can get my hands on i will show that as well like just comment whatever you want to see give suggestions I'm open to doing what you guys want me to do. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to end the year strong. I've had a good year. I've had a lot of fun doing YouTube and making gaming videos. Something I've always wanted to do is sit here and talk to you guys about video games. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm trying to hit those 2,000 subs by the beginning of next year, by the end of this year. And that would be awesome. But that is the end of this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.